Welcome to Nellyville, and thank you for tuning in for another episode of Nellyville Reviews Drag Race. Let's just get right into it. I have a lot to say. So I know normally we start at the top of the episode, we work through, we give our thoughts, we give our opinions. We Today we're skipping right to the end because I have a lot to say about how this ended. But before I get into that, I have to say this season of Drag Race got it right. As far as just good TV, good competition, good storytelling, good, the producers are producing, okay? With all of that being said, I was very on the edge of my seat with who went home and who won. Okay, so as we all know, Mirage is the next second girl to go home. And can we just say, at least for me, it was very embarrassing. The secondhand embarrassment that I felt from that lip sync um, was, uh, was unnerving. I don't think I've ever been so wrong about a girl. So if you've seen the other uh, reviews that I've done so far for this season, Mirage was up here for me. We were all rooting for you, okay? I knew she was gonna stumble a little bit. I think Erin said I don't see her necessarily winning, but I didn't think she was gonna be the second one out. In the challenge, she was very weak. She was the host of RuPaul's Drag Race Live, which is where the girls break up into groups. It's like it's kind of like a Saturday Night Live sketch, and they get one take to get it right. And Mirage wanted to be the the, the host of the show. Safira also wanted to be the host. They did a little bit of back and forth during when the girls were picking the roles, and Safira was like, "Well, you want it? Okay, you can have it." And Safira kind of did this mind trick thing. I don't know. I don't know if Mirage thought that Safira was really going to fight for the role or what happened. But as soon as Mirage got the role that she wanted, she um, the energy shifted. She immediately went into the shell. She immediately um, looked like she was having some deep regrets, which was kind of confusing because it's like, girl, isn't that what you wanted? Baby, she should have never picked that hosting job. Now, the thing about hosting is, see, all the other girls were in groups. They, they were able to bounce off of each other. They were able to interact. They were able to get feedback. When you're the host, especially with a challenge like this, it's just you and the judges and, uh, you know, you better make it work. When she came out, you could just see the nerves. The energy wasn't really there. And look, everybody's not great at everything. I think she's done some hosting before, but it's not the same as doing it on national freaking TV. So like I get the nerves and things, but here's the thing that got on my nerves for real, for real. Um, how dare you? How dare you do that bad in the challenge? And you knew you did bad. How dare you? do that bad in the challenge and then not learn the words i'm sorry do we think we're valentina who do we think we are that we're not going to learn words to songs now it's one thing to um have done a good job and you think okay i'm at least safe or i know i'm going to win this week i'm not going to learn the words but but regardless of how well you think you did or you think you're going to do learn the words to the lip sync because what happens to the girls that win and do well? How do you know RuPaul's not going to flip the script and say, instead of lip syncing for your life, we're going to lip sync for the win. And then you can't win because you didn't want to learn the words because you thought you did great. Do y'all see what I'm saying? This child went up here on season 16 of Drag Race, Mirage, how dare you? And she didn't know our words. She, she was doing a little bit of, of moves. And then to top it off, baby, you could have been able to stay because Geneva was the other queen in the bottom. This is the second week in a row that Geneva was in the bottom. So Mirage, if you knew your words and you came, came out there to fight, you could have still been on the show. And Geneva, Lord have mercy, Geneva, don't even get me started on her. Don't get me started on Geneva. Geneva, if you didn't know who your character was, why didn't you ask somebody? Geneva got on this stage during the challenge and clearly didn't know who her character was. Not only that, the makeup was not right and the lip sync was just kind of bland. There's a lot of mixed feelings about um, 
even doing the challenge with the, the Saturday Night Live RuPaul's Drag Race Live uh, challenge. And some people think it's just really corny, it's not fun, it's not funny, it's just not hitting. And then there's other people that kind of enjoy it more than others. It's definitely one of those challenges that are hit or miss. I don't mind it so much, I like it, but also I kind of like a little corn, I like a little cheese, I like, you know, um, Plasma, she was another one. Plasma, good lord. Look, Plasma is a great drag queen, but I'm gonna need for her, look, I know she is a theater queen, but I'm gonna need for her to turn down the theatrics. So, Homegirl was fighting with, I can't even remember which queen. She was fighting with one queen for another part because she didn't want to play the Barbara Streisand role. Because she was like, I don't want to be typecast and I don't want to go for the role that's so obvious for me because I know I'm going to kill it. Baby, look, I understand the sentiment of you don't want to go for the obvious role that was clearly written for you. I, I get that. But this early in the season, look, ain't nobody going to blame me if you want to play it kind of safe. You know what I'm saying? Stick to what you know. This early in the competition, do what you got to do to stay safe. Okay, instead of trying to, I, I get it, you don't want to go obvious, you were trying to stand out, I understand all of that. Anyways, Plasma ended up losing her role, Amanda, Q, no, no, uh, yeah, Amanda, Q, and Dawn uh, were like, no girl, you, you're not going to be, we got these roles, you can't have that. I Plasma wanted one of the anchor roles, and, and then the three of them over there, Amanda, Q, and Don, were like, well, we already go so well together. Just do Barbara Streisand, you're gonna kill it. And she did great. Now, everyone gagged over Plasma. I did not gag over Plasma. Did she sound great? Sure. Was the look fine? Great. Did she do well with her group members? Sure. She was with Safira and, uh, uh, Nymphia and the three of them together as a whole did great I was actually more captivated by Sophia but that's just me I get why everybody loved Plasma but I think it was just the whole no I don't I, I don't want to do it I think it was just the whole no I don't want to do it no I I can't and then she I, I don't know I, I I think it was okay Plasma ended up winning the whole thing I'm like, what planet do we live on that Mirage has completely thrown the competition and Plasma has won? Not the entire competition, but you know, this episode. I was like, make it make it make sense. Make it make sense. What like what are we doing? I know I'm complaining a lot. Now I will say a positive. Where are the positives? One thing that I did like about this episode is that they talked about dreamers. Okay, so we have two queens. I think these are the first two queens that we've had on the show who are dreamers. Y'all remember Obama came up with the whole uh, DACA law, being able to get on the path to get citizenship. Tsunami and Geneva are both dreamers, and I like that they kind of talked about that and opened up a dialogue because you don't really hear a whole lot of people talking about it the way that it should be and the way that it used to. So once again, Drag Race doing the social work of raising awareness and getting the people talking. So I love that they are dreamers. I love that they are here. And I love that Tsunami is slowly but surely getting rid of that accent. She's starting to be more and more real and she's growing on me, I must say. I must say. So not to backtrack, but I have to go back to Mirage. I mean, you guys, I had a whole page of notes that I wanted to get through and that's just not gonna happen because I, I this lip sync really just gathered me by the pigtails, okay? So to make matters worse, she didn't know her words when you knew she did, when she knew she did bad. The end of the lip sync when she didn't win, Geneva got to stay and she's and then and Mirage is being told to go home. Mirage <clears throat> She breaks down crying. Now obviously this isn't it's not weird to see a competitor cry when it's time for them to go home. But the way she was crying and how long she was crying and the theatrics and the fuck falling down to the floor, it was just a little much. And my one of my first thoughts was, oh, she's waiting for Rude to say something like, oh, 
don't cry, you can stay. Or maybe she was waiting for one of the girls who have immunity to share it with her. That was one of my first thoughts, that she was looking for attention, she was waiting. I'm like, baby, you, I'm like, baby, you are not Candy Muse, okay? RuPaul's not gonna have a, a, a second, a, 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 have a lapse in judgment and, and change his mind and, and say, no, no, don't leave Mirage, it's too soon. Girl, you didn't know your words. The disrespect, you ought to be glad RuPaul didn't drag you out by that whack wig that you had. Are you kidding me? And then I was like, she's doing a lot. And then it made sense. So when we fast forward to the Untucked episode, after the, the, the uh, girls get their critiques and stuff, the tops and the bottoms, Mirage works, walks into the workroom, and the first thing she does is take a can of whatever alcohol that they drink, pops it open, and when I tell you she killed it, she turned it up, and baby girl down that drink in 10 seconds. Now look, th she is not the first girl to, to get wasted in an episode of Untucked. Um, we all remember Shangela and, and, and back in the back in the, the one of the original episodes of Untucked when Shangela's going off on Homegirl because alcohol, right? We've had some great Untucked moments because of alcohol, but everybody was always on kind of on the same level of tipsiness or they never really showed, at least I can't remember them just 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 throwing them back and chugging and chug like what are we at a frat party like what are you doing you brought this on yourself you got the role that you wanted you you didn't do it so what learn you and then you didn't bother to learn the words and then you're gonna go out there drunk how does you being drunk gonna help you with this lip sync mirage I'm still, I'm still gonna be a fan. All I'm saying is I've just never been so wrong about a girl and to go out like that, I, you know. I... Back to the positives, back to the positive. Now, a positive, RuPaul did have a musical number during the Maxi Challenge. And of course we love when Mother takes the stage and shows us how it's really done. So check out the new song, it's like really nice or whatever. Like I lived, I lived, I lived. Anyways, let's get on and look at some of these looks. So the theme for the runway was everything, every share, all at once. And for the most part, most of the, the looks were good i mean you can't really go wrong with the share there was obviously some misses but let's just go through really quickly one by one and let's see who's getting shredded today so tsunami fabulous body was right it was it was a this was a good share look for tsunami okay girl i'm with you um then we had morphine come in with this black little number um I'm not mad at it. Of course, morphine's makeup. Nobody's nobody's touching morphine in the in the makeup department. Um, well, I might be saying too much, but she she's good. She good. She's got a good face, and this this was a good look for her. It fit, definitely for her aesthetic. <sighs> Lord have mercy, Maya. Maya, where did you get this Party City Halloween share costume? And who lied to you several times that this was okay. Now, the outfit itself, okay, fine, not too bad. It's hitting her at an awkward link, length at the ankle. Um, it either needed to be a little shorter or a little longer. Um, and then this wig. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now, I know that you try to get cute on your Instagram pictures because y'all know the girls like to take professional pictures and their looks and put them on their Instagram. I noticed that you try to get cute and put a different wig on with your outfit. No, baby. Look, I I'm glad that you were smart and you took pictures with the right wig. But whatever wig that you took on your little Instagram pictures, that's the wig you should have brought with you. And if you could afford that wig, baby, there was something more you could have did to that little rat's nest that you threw on your head, but I digress. In the challenge, though, Maya was not necessarily the strongest one, but she, she really, she gave it her all and she committed to her character. And I did really appreciate that. Then we have Geneva. 
I like the idea, the concept was there, but that midriff, um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a red see-through illusion there, or I don't know what's going on with the midriff, but it didn't do anything for your shape, and if you would have had on a boob, it probably would have done more for your silhouette, I'm just saying. I didn't already shredded Mirage all up and down. Y'all see the outfit. Moving right along. Megami. I think, I feel like Megami was one of the ones that really nailed Cher, nailed the hair, the look, and made it drag. I mean, it it's, it's, it's Cher. Good for you, Megami. Then we have Plain Jane. Plain Jane, oh, she's still bringing all that mess. She's still arguing with the girls, but... Her performance in the in the uh, Drag Race Live and the Maxi Challenge and on the runway. When you when you when you performing, you can do all that, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy. Amanda, baby, I love me some Amanda. But the thing is it could have been done right. And that's all I'm gonna say. It could have been done right. And then Dawn took the liberty of making her own colors because we don't know what the colors are from the black and white picture that Cher is wearing her ensemble. I don't know how I feel about Dawn's outfit. I don't hate it. Um, she said orange, but I, it's giving red to me. And therefore it makes her look like those popsicles. And I, and I think um, Kamora said the same thing and Kamara said the same thing about she felt like Mirage was like waiting for somebody to save her whatever Don I, I don't I don't know and she was she was just kind of okay during the challenge but I feel like she could have made this more share and then Q Q got robbed I feel like Q should have won this challenge honestly and I don't know how much longer Q is going to handle not winning. This, this is this is another really great Cher look. She did did a great job, and you know Q gives me uh, y'all remember y'all know Chanel the drag queen. Q gives me Chanel vibes. Do y'all see it? You know what I mean. And then plasma. I don't know. I something's missing. It's almost there, but something is missing. Nymphia, this, and y'all on the runway, oh man, y'all, you people were not ready for Nymphia, this, this was a great look, this was a great look, man, it was, it was great, oh wow, that's all I can say, it was great, and then Safira, I like it, I like it, I'm, I'm not mad at it, we've seen, I feel like we've seen this color on her a lot, I mean, which is, I guess it's fine, I like it when she had the full shoulder piece on. When she took the shoulder piece off, it got kind of, there was nothing wow about it. This looks great on her. It just wasn't like, I think she captured Cher in a way that was true to her aesthetic. I, I like it. So that is all the looks. Mirage, honey, I hope you took this as a learning experience. Learn your words, learn your words, learn your words, learn your words. I would love to see you on an All Stars. I'm going to keep an eye out for you and keep up with you. Um, congratulations, Plasma. Um, I mean, you did, a, you did a great job. But I just, I don't know how we got to a win. I'm sorry, you did a great job, but I, I just feel like Q... Q's, Q actually made me laugh out loud in the maxi challenge and then the look was the look was pretty good so it was great actually so I don't know anyways I had so much more that I wanted to say but this video is already longer than I wanted it to be so leave in the comment section down below what you think about all of that and I will see you guys next week for more Nellyville reviews drag race bye